All right, everybody, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Um, today I hooked up, and you probably saw that in time lapse, um, and I cut some of it out where I just sat down. Um, I hooked up the China harness to the Junkyard Jewel, and some of you seem to be missing the point. The point of this whole engine is to see how good or bad, oops, how good or bad some of this cheap Chinese junk is. Like, let's find out. Let's take a $200 engine and try garbage, supposedly garbage, um, wiring harness on it, garbage, supposedly, uh, spark plug wires on it. Let, let's try the garbage stuff. Let's see if it works. Let's see how it works. Um, let's give it a whirl. So, you probably saw me struggle a little bit. You know, it, it's always a bit of a struggle when you deal with this kind of stuff. I'm not super happy. This isn't terrible. This is the O2 harness. You see it's gonna be pretty tight and it's gonna wanna, uh, the way that the crank sensor runs, it kinda wants to hit this. I'm gonna have to tie it up or something, figure something out. Um, I, like a buffoon, these are the correct harnesses, um, injector plugs, but they're wrong for my flex injectors that I got out of the junkyard. Those are EV6 connectors, not multi-tech, like I said. Um, another thing to be aware of about the harness is that it's intended to go through the firewall. So all of you that want a remote mount, um, that's kind of what this is set up for. That's not what's gonna happen in Jewel. It's gonna sit right on the uh, fender well under the hood. I ain't scared. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need, which will help because I think it's a little tight anyway, in my personal opinion. Um, this stuff's kind of a little bit tight. Again, you see I struggled a bit with some of this. Um, the trans connections, I'm not... They're definitely no longer than they need to be. I, I think it'll probably reach, but time will tell. Um, so having the wrong connectors and having to have ordered, uh, I ordered a new one, uh, the little adapter harnesses. Again, here's my O2 sensor. It's not an inch longer than it needs to be. And I might wind up with extensions up here it's pulled pretty tight you know it's kind of a dance i tried to run it under there i don't um there's no way to do it cleanly again see now if this were the right connector it wouldn't fit um like yeah unfortunately i screwed up and ordered the wrong ones and that is my fault not theirs um then the alternator is like needlessly long the alternator will come way the hell up here for god knows what reason Right, but it can't get any further. This can barely reach around. Um, and then this is the math, and this is on the wrong side of the engine, really, compared to the factory. And if you have a truck set up, your math is going to be way over there somewhere. Um, so, again, I'm going to have to do something there, extend these wires out, um, get an adapter harness. I don't know. Maybe. Jewel's probably ultimately going to run with a, with a turbo, so I'll probably just, you know, tune it speed density, and it's just going to go in the car with a turbo anyway. There's a guy in a Facebook group who's got manifolds for a pretty good deal, and uh, I think I'm probably going to get a log. I was going to do that anyway and test it, but if I can throw a bone to somebody in the Facebook group, then that's cool too. So, um... Yeah, the harness presents some challenges, so you guys are aware. And again, oh, I almost forgot. I promised to do this. Again, I bought this stuff to test it. So, you know, I, first of all, I make no money either way. I don't care. Buy it, don't buy it. Um, it it's no skin off my nuts, regardless. Which, by the way, when I did the little torch test that everybody wanted, then everybody freaked out because they didn't like the torch test. 
um, for one reason or another. The wire self extinguished. So, like, as far as this thing burning your car down, I don't see it because what I mean by self extinguished is it burned for a moment. Bear with me here. Trained professional. It burned for a moment and then it went out. Um, which, you know, meaning it didn't continue to burn, which would be really bad, right? That's how you know that you have, you know, some bad juju going on. I'm going to try to strip this. Somebody asked if this was going to be copper or copper coated aluminum. And I don't know. But we can find out. I hope. Hopefully that shows on the camera. This appears to me to be copper throughout. I need my... Let's take it right over here to the science bench. That made it worse. Um, as near as I can tell, to me, this looks to be copper all the way through. So if you have a clever way to test that, I'll cut off another piece and we'll test it. Um, again, for 268 bucks, I'm not mad. Uh, I don't think I would buy another one. I don't think it's garbage. I don't think it's gonna burn your car down. I also don't think it's top quality. So that's, I would prefer to have a factory reworked harness, you know, having dealt with this thing. Um, but it's definitely no reason to run out and buy a Holley Terminator. I, I really haven't changed my mind on that. Although I do enjoy watching the mental gymnastics people go through where they're like, yeah, but I need a boost controller and I need a progressive nitrous controller and I need all Dakota digital gauges. And like reality, you're not gonna use any of that or you don't need any of that. You know, your wastegate's your boost controller. And if you really feel the need to fiddle with it on the, on the run, you can use a $3 fish tank valve and fiddle with it I mean again people got to be realistic about what they're doing you know about their goals and what they're trying to achieve so anyway I think I probably rambled on about this long enough another thing is there's a little boss on this block I don't know if you can see it because it seems to be kind of dark right here but my uh, manifolds hitting that and I wonder if that's not what the final guy was talking about but um anyway i do have a dyno day scheduled at a top secret location um sincerely top secret like somebody will lose their job if i get caught in there so i'm not going to disclose it but we are going to run this on the 16th and uh see what it makes and in the meantime i'll keep plugging away at this harness and i know i said it last weekend and the weekend before but hopefully you'll see it run this weekend <laughs> Uh, that's the goal anyway. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends and tell your enemies. And I'm going to go drink 10 beers and eat 10 tacos. And I'll see you guys.